Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to filter your Power BI reports dynamically using Slicer in your report. One of the use case can be imagine that you manage a national sales team and want to provide each regional manager with a personalized sales dashboard that only shows data relevant to their region. Instead of creating and maintaining separate reports for each region, you can create a single comprehensive sales report and use query string parameters to filter dynamically. Another use case can be, let's say for example, you have two different Power BI reports. One Power BI report is used to analyze the overview of the sales data and the other Power BI report has the detailed information of the categories, city, region, etc. When you are analyzing the sales data, let's say you would now like to focus on a particular category, but that report is available on a different Power BI report. All you have to now do is select the category which you would like to focus on. Let's say for example, category bakery and beverages. Once you've made the selection from this slicer, I have created a unique URL now, which is assigned to a shape. I can simply click on the report icon here which will take me to the new report and you can see that my categories are now filtered for bakery and beverages only. Likewise, I can also filter this by city. I can have multiple selections if I want. Let's say for example, if I want to select Chennai and Coimbatore, I can do that and then click on report here. This will now take me to the Power BI report which has the detailed information filtered by the category beverages and bakery and also filtered by the city Coimbatore and Chennai. So these were a couple of use cases of how you can use query string parameters. Now it's time for me to teach you how to do this. So let's get started with this tutorial. So first of all, you will have to publish your Power BI report to Power BI service once you have done that. Now let me show you some of the basics how to edit your query string parameters. So at the end of the URL that you see over here, you have something called as experience is equals to Power BI. I'm going to get rid of that. Now after the question mark, you will have to type in filter is equals to followed by the table name that you have in your Power BI report. In my case, my table name here is called orders and then followed by a slash. And now you will have to enter the field that you want to filter the report by. In this case, I will type in category here and followed by a space. I'm going to type in EQ here, which means that equals to and within single quotes, I'm going to type in the category that I want to filter. For example, snacks, I'm going to close the single quote here and confirm on the link. And now you can see that I have now filtered the report by snacks category. Now, what if you have to filter by multiple categories, then that is where the in list comes into play. So I'm going to get rid of equal snacks here. Instead, I'm going to use in operator here open brackets and then I'm going to type in the category that I want to filter here within single quotes. For example, I want to filter by snacks and then I want to filter by bakery. I can enter as many categories as I want and then when I click on confirm and now my Power BI report is filtered by snacks and bakery. Now we looked at two different operators that we have used in our scenario. One is the EQ, which is equals, and the other one is the in, including list. There are other operators which you can use like and, NE, which means not equal to. We have GE, which means greater than or equal to. This can be used with numbers only and not with strings. If you have any values that you want to filter, but if you have any numbers that you want to filter, you can use the GE filter. And we have GT, which means greater than, we have LE which means less than or equal to and then we have LT which means less than. So these are the different operators that you can use based on your requirements. Now let's say for example, you want to filter by multiple categories. How can you do that? Now I have I've already filtered here by category. I would like to also filter by region. So let's see how we can do that. So this is where another operator comes into play. Here you can use the AND operator and after the AND operator, you will have to type in the table here that you want to filter followed by a slash and then the field that you want to filter. In my case, it is region. And then I'm going to say equals to within single quotes. I'm going to type in West here and confirm. And now you can see that I have filtered the category as well as the region. I'm now back in my Power BI desktop and I'm going to show you how you can make this dynamic based on the selections that you make from this slicer. You should be able to filter the Power BI report dynamically. Let's see how we can do that. So first of all, let's create a measure. 
In this measure, what I want to do is whenever I make a selection from the category field, I would like to concatenate the values and create an end list to be displayed. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to create a new measure now. I'm going to call this as category selection. I'm going to use the function concatenate X. The first argument here is to enter the table name. In this case, I'm going to use the values function here so that I only get distinct values and pass in the orders category field. I'm going to close the bracket here followed by the comma. The expression here is also going to be the category. And then I'm going to close the bracket here and confirm. And now that I have created a measure, let's see what does this return. So if I come over here and I have selected eggs, meat and fish category. If I choose multiple categories here, what happens? I have eggs, meat and fish followed by food grains, right? I also don't have any um, delimiter here or space between the categories or anything. Let's go back to our measure. The third argument that you can enter here is the delimiter. Now, when we pass an end list into our query string parameter, we want to have commas after every category. So I'm going to open double quotes here, type in comma, close the quotes and confirm. And now you can see that we've entered the comma here. Now, one thing that is missing in this result is that the categories need to be in single inverted commas and that is missing. So let's quickly add that as well. Now in the measure and before the expression, I'm going to open double quotes here. And then within that, I'm going to have my single inverted commas and then followed by an ampersand here so that we concatenate this. And then after the category and ampersand again, open double quote, single quote and close the quote again and then confirm. And now you will see that we've added single quotes against these categories. If I can select multiple categories from here and all of them work just like how we expect them to work. If I select a single category, I just have bakery. Now my measure is set. Now that we've created a measure for category, if you would like to apply filters by subcategory and city as well, so you will have to recreate the measures. Now let me create another measure for city here. So what I will do is I'm just gonna copy the entire code here and then come here, select new measure, copy the code here, and then change this to city selection. And instead of category, I'm gonna change this to city from category says this to city and confirm and now I have another measure called city section I can bring this into a new card and I can see that if all of my cities are selected I have all the cities mentioned over here and if I make a single or multiple selection I have them in the right format like the way I want them to appear now that we've created our measures it's now time for us to create that unique URL so let's see how we can do that I'm gonna come here and select new measure and this time I'm gonna call this as URL is equals to let's define a variable here I'm gonna call this as report underscore URL is equals to I'm back in Power BI service and this is the page URL that I would like to use and filter my report so I'm going to copy this URL back in Power BI I'm going to paste this particular URL here I'm going to remove experience is equals to Power BI here and then I'm going to wrap them within double quotes so that this becomes a string now and then on the next line let's define another variable I'm going to call this variable as this is going to be the filter category is equals to open double quotes and then I'm going to type in filter is equals to orders which is my table name followed by a slash and then category space in and then close the quotes here now this is the string that I have created to filter the category field now I have showed this to you earlier as well now I'm going to create another variable here to filter the city so I'm going to call this as filter underscore city is equals to remember that we should be using filter only once. So I'm going to not repeat the filter again here. Instead, I'm going to use a space here and followed by an and and then say orders slash city in space close the quotes here. And now my filter category and filter city, both these strings are ready. It's now time for us to concatenate these URLs. So let's see how we can do that. Now I'm going to use the return statement here. Return. Return report URL. For my an ampersand. Return filter category. For by an ampersand. Now in the in list here, 
I will have to pass in all the selections that I am making from the category selected. Now I have a measure called category selection. So I'm going to just type in that here and let's click on confirm and see what is happening. So I'm going to just close this and bring in the new URL that we have created. And you can see that. Let me reduce the size of this a bit. And now our URL is ready here, but I see a little problem in this URL. Can you spot what the problem is? The in list that we have here, I do not have parentheses around it, which means that if I use this URL, this URL will not be able to filter my category. So let's see how we can add the parentheses around the categories here. Let's go back to category selection measure. And before the concatenate X function here, I'm going to open double quotes here and for by open parenthesis, close the quotes for by an ampersand. And then at the end of the quote here, ampersand, open quotes, close the parenthesis, close the quotes and confirm. And now you see that we have now added the parenthesis around the category selected. And let's quickly change this to URL. I'm going to use this as a table. Let's change this into a table. And now change the URL data category here from uncategorized to web URL, then it becomes clickable. And now let's click on this URL and this will take me to the Power BI service. Let's see if this is working fine. And this has not filtered the report. So let's investigate why this has not filtered. The reason why this has not filtered is because my orders table here is beginning with the capital O, which means that the URL here is case sensitive. So one of the learning from this session is that the URL that you will be creating is going to be case sensitive. So make sure that the case matches. And now that we have changed the case of O and C here in capitals, and now I'm going to click on commit. And now let's click on this link and see what happens. So back in Power BI service now, and, and now you can see that we've now filtered the sales by category. Now back in my Power BI report again. So let's add the second criteria here, which is city. And then I'm going to follow by an ampersand here and then type in filter city. And now let's quickly add the city selection to our URL here. I'm going to type ampersand here followed by city selection. And now you can see that in our URL, we have order slash city in the cities that we have selected from our slicer. And now you can see that we've made two selections from the city here. And now let's make a selection of categories. I'm going to select beverages and then select snacks here. My URL has been created. I'm going to click on this URL now. And now I have filtered my Power BI report by category as well as by city. Now, all you have to do is get rid of this table here. You can insert a shape of your choice. I'm just going to select this one here. I have the shape. Let me quickly resize this and have this here. You can change the fill. You can assign an action to this. I'm going to use web URL here in the URL. I'm going to click on the FX button here and then choose the URL field that we have created. Click on OK. You can also change the fill here. Let's go to shape style fill. This is the color that I have used here. And then you can also add a text of your choice and say report make this bold and now you have the report ready when you have made the selection here simply click on report this will take you to service where the power bi report will be pre-filtered for you based on the selections that you have made in your slices so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you found this tutorial helpful you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials